Hi, I'm Joel from Fotoruta and I'm here to provide you a set of key tips that will help you make great professional photos of your home. We're going to be using a photography tool that is easy to use and always with you, your smartphone. So let's get going. I'm with Mark today at his beautiful London property. Thank you for having us. Pleasure. So how often are you taking photos with your smartphone? Well, I try to keep my photos updated regularly, but uh, I'm always happy to learn new tips. Excellent. So today I can show you some basic adjustments on the smartphone so we can get started. Great. We want to present every space in a way that's inviting. We spend time setting up and taking care of details. As we should, we need to see the property through the eyes of our potential guests. Make sure the lens is clean before starting. Even fingerprints will compromise the sharpness of photos when seen on larger screen. Avoid using flash. Make sure you're shooting in landscape mode and that you have a firm grip of the smartphone and mind your fingers on the frame. We need to make the most of natural light. With this in mind, it's important to choose the best time of the day for shooting. When shooting, hold the camera as still as possible, especially in spaces with lower light. Remember your details. Pillows are fluffed, TV is off, and items are intentionally placed on the table to make it more cozy and inviting. You'll notice the grid is on to help me with the alignment. Usually it can be found in camera settings. Every home has something unique about it. Mark, what would you say is your home's favorite feature? Well, we're in the middle of Kensington where space is at a major premium, so we have this wonderful terrace and also a great conservatory. Excellent, I think this is a great place to highlight. Use your exposure tool to maximize the light in the space. You can do it easily by telling your camera where to expose as you tap on a well-lit area of the screen. And make sure you take advantage of the views. If they are special, definitely include them in your listing. Just remember to include a reference that you're still in the property. Now, we're gonna capture the kitchen area. And for many guests, this is a very important place in the home. Make sure all surfaces are clean and no appliance cords are hanging out. We can bring more life to this space by including some recipe books, a vase of flowers, or a spice rack. Even setting up coffee mugs and a bowl of fruits will add warmth to the images. Now it's time for the bedrooms. It's important to take photos of all the bedrooms, not just the biggest one. We spend some time doing our setup. The bed is made neatly and pillows are positioned equally. Look for unique features too. Shoot from different heights than eye level. High or low levels may work better depending on what your space is calling for. For example, if the space is small, take a slightly higher angle rather than a lower one. In this case, the bed should be the most important element. The bathroom tends to be the trickiest room to photograph. Make sure the bathroom is sparkling and set up. Toilet lid closed, towels neatly hung, and avoid angles that capture your reflection in the mirror. So we need to squeeze all the way to the back and shoot as wide as possible. And by all the way to the back, we might need to get creative. Photography requires patience. Lucky you have full access to your location. We hope these tips can help you make the images you need for a successful home away renting.